Hi, my name is Amy. This is Amy's Mix of Creativity. And I am a paper crafter who is excited to share some paper crafting tips with you. And I hope that you stick with me and um, bear with me as this is my first video and I'm still getting the hang of it. So things might be a little shaky still <laughs> um, for a little bit. I started this channel. Um, first, I started a website about seven, eight years ago called A Mix of Creativity. I was doing um, craft fairs and teaching lessons on paper crafting. Um, and I'm not able to do those things as much now. So I wanted to share some things I've learned about paper crafting with you and the audience out there to see, you know, to help get some more people interested. Um, I love paper and I love everything that you can do with paper, like making cards, um, you know, making special projects, gift tags, um, gift bags, 3D projects. I do, um, Sticker, I use stickers for planning and journaling, and I'm gonna touch upon all these things in this, um, in these videos. I hope that you would subscribe so that you can learn more about all the things I have planned. I want to teach, um, or share my tips about different aspects of paper crafting. I'm going to um, show some some of these really cool papers that I have paper pads. I'm not affiliated with any companies, so everything that I show is 100% mine. I do not, um, you know, get anything sent to me like some, some creators do. Um, oh, I'm shaking it a little too much, I can say. <laughs> anyway, I, I just want to share what I have purchased myself, um, do some show some of my products that I enjoy um, and eventually I'm going to have um, some information about different ways to begin paper crafting and how to figure out what works for you. Okay, so first I wanted to just show some of these papers that I got from um, a very famous craft store, which one will name <laughs> will remain nameless, um, but I'm sure most people know where this is, these papers are from. Um, one of my tips right off the bat is if you're going to work, if you're going to do any kind of paper crafting, if um, you choose to, for instance, um, make cards for Christmas, which is coming up very quickly, then, um, you know, that's that's a wonderful thing to get started, you know, a wonderful thing to do to get started. You may want to look into just purchasing paper for to begin with. Um, in order to make cards, you might want you need card bases. Um, but you could just make beautiful cards with these type of um, paper pads that are, you know, specialty Christmas paper. Um, you don't even need special Christmas paper. But if you choose to use special Christmas paper for cards, for Christmas cards, which, you know, a lot of people would want to do that, know that there is ways to get around. You don't need to buy all of these pads that I have. The pads I bought are for me to make all kinds of different cards, but also to, um, you know, work up my stash. I have a stash of a lot of paper and a lot of crafting, paper crafting materials that I use on a daily basis. Um, so don't feel that you need to right away become, you know, obsessed with this type of hobby. You know, take your time. Be, you know, take it slow. Be um, careful what you choose because you don't want to go out and buy all kinds of different items and spend all kinds of money and then regret it because you really only like, you know, one certain thing or, you know, you, you feel you wasted a lot of your money for no reason. Um, so this is part of the reason I want to do this 
channel also is because I want to share things with people so that they can see what's out there. So they can have like an idea of what they might like. And, you know, I know not everybody's going to like the same things. These three pads here are not my favorite. I'm going to get to my favorite after these <laughs> in the next video. But I wanted to share these with you because these are basic types of decorations that can go on any cards. Um, and they make and they make for really nice Christmas cards, base, especially the bases. Um, if you want to make embellishments or make, you know, put on all kinds of different pictures. And if you have like, if you have stamps or, or die cuts or things like that that you want to put on, that works out great too. Um, because these are pretty basic type of designs. Um, one thing I want to hit upon is that a major tip is try to get these things on sale. Like pads like this go for about $20 a piece. Um, but I've, I got them for much less than that. When I went to buy them earlier in the season, like about a month ago, they were on deep discount. Sometimes they would either be 40% at this major crafting store. Um, one time I went and they were 50%. <laughs> so you never know. You can, um, find different, different, um, papers for, that are on sale or, or any of the crafting that, I want to, that I'm going to talk about, I'm going to tell, tell you, you know what, find things that are for sale or, or, or things that are being, are on clearance or things that are a lot less because once you start this kind of hobby, and as some people know who have already started in and who are already like, you know, very much invested in it, you don't want to have to spend lots and lots of money. It get, can can get to that point where you're spending lots and lots of money. And I know I've been there. I'm having, you know, that's an issue already for me. So I am trying to help by, um, you know, letting on to some of the secrets and tips to make things a little more affordable with this hobby. So first I'm going to just, let me put these aside. I'm going to go through this one right here first. This was a very special, um, you know, paper pad that I never really saw before, um, in, in this type of a 12 by 12, um, you know, type of, um, you know, this, in this way, I've never seen, <laughs> I've never seen vellum in 12 by 12. Um, vellum is very thin paper. It looks like this. I hope you can see this better. Good. I'm going to like zoom out a little now so you can see the whole thing. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm not really straight. Um, this is going to be, you know, well, take me a little practice to get used to all this. <laughs> and I and I can see that I have a glare and all this. It's late at night, so bear with me. But anyway, so this this is vellum. Vellum is a very thin product. Um, it's it's see through mostly, but it's kind of like frosted, so that it gives you the you know you can you can see through. You can see my hands through it. It gives you that ability to use it that way. So it can be used for shaker cards or for just backgrounds for. Um, if you want it behind like a tag or on the front of a tag so that you can see, like you can see the beautiful designs. See, I'll show you another page. Here's another page with the, um, snowflakes. This one has some frames. As you can see here, it's like a frame. This one is just most, this one, this page is almost all snowflakes. Well, it is all snowflakes. <laughs> And, um, so these are, the vellum is really, like, a really cool product, because what you can do with it is very, it's very versatile. Um, you can use it in all kinds of different ways, um, and for Christmas, it, it can be really fun, because you can, you know, like I said, layer it up. It's a little hard to see it, but you kind of see the decorations as I pick up the paper. And as you layer it, you know, when you layer it, it brings out the colors of whatever you put behind it. So it's actually very, um, 
very fun to use. And um, so this this paper pad had all these different um, pieces of vellum. I am going through each one. Each one is a different design. There are two designs per, um, you know, two pages of each design. I personally, I've taken out the des I've taken out one of the designs so that I could use that, um, you know, as soon as possible with um, decorations and cards for Christmas. Um, what I what I suggest is if you are interested in doing paper crafting for Christmas and want to do cards, is that you, you know, choose what you want to do. If you want a paper pad like this, uh, this is a 12 by 12, but I have six by six also that I will show in a, in a, in one of a future video. Um, but if you, if you're going to use something like this, cut out the pages so you can see what they look like. And because it's a, because there's two design, two pages per design, what I suggest, and this is what I always do when I get paper pads, is that you take out one, at least if the, if there's two or three, take out at least one of the pages and then cut it into different, I'm sorry, into different sizes. So you can see, oh, that's the last page. So you can see what you're actually um, dealing with. Like with the vellum, it's, you know, it's nice to see what the vellum looks like um, up against different um, different types of pages and different colors and different backgrounds, different card bases, things like that. So I don't, I did cut them out, but I didn't cut up the pieces because with vellum also, I, I personally want to cut it in a certain way so that I get the this decoration that I want. Okay, now with my plaids, I did cut these apart. Now here's, here's, okay, so let me first show you the page, the front, I mean the front of this. This is um, 12 by 12, it's called Christmas Plaids. This, this one was called Snow Globe Vellum, okay, and it's a recollection brand, okay, and um, the paper plaids, I have here now it are um, variety of different type, different style plaids. Very cool for Christmas. I love I love plaids at Christmas time because they're so they're just so pretty. <laughs> they're they're pretty and they're like nostalgic. Like they remind me of you know my life growing up in Maine where I grew up. Um, it's kind of like you know lumberjack. <laughs> I didn't grow up in a, yeah, that type of area, but, um, you know, a lot of people wore plaids, especially in the winter and around Christmas time. So, and they still do. And we, and I still love them. Here's a buffalo pad. About buffalo plaid. <laughs> Excuse me. This one is, like, really pretty, like, uh, with the gold foil. Okay, so something like this, you know, this is much better if you cut it up. I usually cut it into six by six or um, ha cut it in half and then cut the f one, the top by six by six. And I'll show that in a little bit. And then I have like different, um, usually it's like three by four, three, three pieces of three by four. Okay. This is um, much easier to see if you cut it up and you see the different plaids how pretty they pretty they are also another tip is you know if you don't like some of these plaids so okay well then use them in a different way use them for a backing that you barely can see so they're a frame or use them in um a way that you know covers them up mostly but you can see a little bit on a card or on a project um or you you know use them use them for like um scrapbooking or for if you do any kind of um you know like planning you could cut them into little 
little tiny bits that makes it a little less in your face okay so some of it i know can be like a lot like i love this this plaid is really really pretty and it's a nice christmas type of plaid but i don't like it so much all as one sheet of 12 by 12. <laughs> and here's one that's really pretty with the gold foil beautiful christmas type of <laughs> as you can see it's almost like holographic so it comes out with different colors with the light shining on it. Really pretty, especially when broken down. Okay, so here we go, another plaid that's got like reds and greens. Very traditional, Christmas, really pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that screams Christmas too. And so does this with the gold foil. Again, remember, when you cut up these paper pads, you can cut any of it apart. If you just want a box here, like you could just cut that box, use scissors or use a paper cutter, but trim it, make it be your style. If you don't, you know, you don't have to make everything be exactly the way you see it. That's one thing in this, in this, um, you know, series of videos that I want to stress is that it's, it's, it's not important the way things look it's important the way you vision them envision them okay so if you're you know really into paper crafting and you're like oh i don't like that well then don't use it <laughs> or use it in a certain way that would make it easier like i just said um or you know easier on the eye easier in your mind okay you don't have to use all the crap all the paper that you get to I know people try, I can never do that. It's so hard. But you know, you might wanna just, you know, cut it up into scraps and use it for different projects, right? So not everything is, um, you know, used in the exact same way. See so, you now, I mean, some of these pages can be used outside of the holiday. This is a really pretty color for like a male's birthday card. Um, it would be great for, you know, someone who likes golf <laughs> or someone who's into, um, you know, tartans, you know, Scot Scottish type of things. Here's another one that's like that. So they, these don't have to be used just for Christmas, obviously. This one's pretty with the foil. Again, you can cut it up into frames or make it into different, um, just different pictures. I mean, different not pictures, but like different um, styles of cuts. Here's one that's very like unique. I've never seen anyone want a paper pad like this, but a paper that's like this with little tiny, tiny gold dots. That's so cool. So it's a plaid with gold dots. So very unique. Here again. Some unique things. Here's just a piece of black paper to go with all those plaids um, to use as frames or to use as backgrounds. Um, can even be used as card bases. When you are working with cards, you need to have some type of card base. Obviously, you can buy them at a store, at a craft store. They have them all over the places. Card bases galore at stores. So don't feel like you have to make your own. But if you do make your own, it's good to, you know, figure out how to cut them, um, cut up pieces of paper, like cut this to make a card base and, um, you know, how do you, the measurements and all the, all that type of stuff I'll talk about in future videos, like how to know how, how to cut card bases correctly, how to fold them, how to do those type of things. Okay. So that's Christmas plaids. From recollections here's another recollections one that I showed I'm just gonna show these three because I don't want this video to be too too long but I you know I am gonna come back and make more videos because I really do like this and I hope this works out <laughs> so bear with me again because I'm like getting used to this right here I'm off I know I'm not centered that's just the way my phone is hooked up <laughs> on the song crazy contraption I have. So I just wanted to like take a moment to look at this beautiful cover. 
this is really like a little bit deceiving. I mean, the holographic is like incredible. And there is holographic pitch papers in this pad, but there's not that many. So I was a little disappointed. I mean, it's pretty much the ones you see here. There's like six that have, six or maybe seven, that have this beautiful holographic foiling that's just like, wow. I, I saw this. I was like, I got to have that. I, I want that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use much of it. It's just not my style. It's nothing about against the papers. The papers are beautiful. I just like more color in my, with my, um, you know, with, when I make cards and when I, when I do projects, I like a lot of color. Um, for instance, this will be my next um, video is to go through this one. That's called Candy Brights. I'm going to use save that for the next video because I, again, I don't want to have too many, too much on this video and I want to um, show you how to cut this up to make it much more functional and easier to make cards with. Um, but that will be my next video. So let me just show you this. This is called Glistening Snow. It's a beautiful pad of paper. And again, I took I took pages out. So this is um you know, this is like just a run through of the, the one design, you know, there's two design in each of these paper pads. Um so that's good cuz you do get a nice variety. Um too. Here are some cut aparts. Cut aparts should be cut apart. <laughs> You know, that's what they're there for, but don't be nervous or feel uncomfortable of cutting the cut aparts apart. You can cut this up if you want just a picture. Let's say, I mean, you want to um, use this as a card itself, you could just cut this part, okay? This part here could be cut. Um, you could even trim it down so that this would still be a frame. So this would be lower, you know, come and be part of that. And you could make a beautiful card with that. I might do that. Actually, I might do that. I like that <laughs> that idea. Okay, so don't forget you can cut off these little parts. Like these flowers could be cut off and used for different um, projects. Okay, really cool, like natural looking, you know, natural colored poinsettias. And here are some more poinsettias that are interesting. I don't really know what these balls are. I, I, I don't know. They look like disco balls. <laughs> But whatever. Okay, so here we go. This is another cut apart page. Now these are much smaller. These could be for the ones before were big, so they could be like used in with scrapbooks. Um, you know, and using they could be used on cards, but usually cards you want to have be four by five. Um around that. That's you know, we'll get into the sizes of cards and you know, I think it's what an A2 card is a um four four and a quarter by five and a half that's the base um because it's the ha it's like half of an eight and a half by eleven paper you just you know people decided to do it make that happen like that um so that it would be easier to cut eight by eleven well eight and a half by eleven which is the size of like copier paper but nowadays we don't really I, you don't, you know, I mean, you buy, you can buy cardstock that size. Obviously, if you're buying pattern paper like this, like a paper pad, they usually come in 12 by 12 or 6 by 6. Okay, so these cut aparts can be used on cards um, very easily, even if you, even if you just, you know, make a bigger card. Okay, um, some people like the bigger cards. So that's a that's an idea too, but yet again, like I said, and you know, major tip here is use this in other various ways. It doesn't have to be, and like this this one here in the middle could be a beautiful tag. I could definitely see myself making a tag out of that. So yeah, use it in different ways. Okay, that's a little weird looking. <laughs> Not my style. This one's a little out of camera. Sorry, out of shot. Um kind of interesting it's like tone on tone it's got like I don't know if you can actually see that on the 
up <laughs> on the video, but there's like little tiny snow, little snowflakes all over the page, which is really cute. Um, and this down here, like I, I don't like it when they do this because to me it takes like, like there's, you know, not enough of the real pretty decoration. I get, you know, you can use this too, and don't forget to do that, of course. But these can be blocked out and made into different, different cards, or used for different decorations. Okay, there's those disco balls again. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Oh, this is kind of this is kind of cool. This is a little freaky. Uh, I got you know I've got this light on up here. I got some glare. I know. I'm sorry about that. I can't seem to figure out how to make it better. If I videotape during the day, it'll probably help. But um, that's really cool how it's holographic. Okay, so here's some of the stuff that now we're getting into some stuff that's on the front that really you know screams this is a cool paper pad. Not so cool. Kind of bland but still functional. Okay, so these type of things are not my favorite. <laughs> um, but if that's just my that's just me because I don't do a lot of scrapbooking. I mainly make cards and do planning and things like that. So when I um try to cut these apart, sometimes it's a real labor of love. Like I really want, you know, I, it takes me a while to cut this all apart. So one of the tips I have is that you don't have to cut this apart every strip if you don't want to use each strip cut it so that it's like one section and it's you know like you like you decorated it that way <laughs> so that it's like you know like you have different strips on the page works out makes it nice and then if you want you can just you know cut this out cut out the words so that you have um some, a sentiment okay again not my style <laughs> But that's okay. It's beautiful. I can see. I can see how pretty this is too with all the little snowflakes. Okay, here's some of those other, des these really cool geometric designs. Look kind of like stars or some funky points. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I don't know. Sometimes I might say things a little weird. But uh, that's what's fun, you know? Hey. I love to talk, so this is part of why I wanted to start this doing this YouTube channel. So I hope you stick with me because we can have some fun together. Anyway, here's so here's some more. These are really cool, like little sparkles. <laughs> I actually really like that, like how the holograph, how it picks up the holographic shine. It's pretty nice. Okay, here's some more big. These are big snowflakes. They really do look pretty cool. Um. I kind of just wish they had made like the background a little more, you know, like prettier. <laughs> okay, yet again, I, I don't know what this, these balls are. If anyone knows what those balls are, let me know in the comments. I <laughs> I find them really strange. Um, here are just some leaves, you know, good for backing. I don't know if they, you know the. Type, this type of stuff is not great for, um, you know, the focal point on a card. These might be because they are so pretty, but you also might just want them to be, like, part of it, part of the card, because they they do have, like, a lot of shine, and it's almost a little too much. But still pretty. This I don't care for that much, but so be it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's like very subtle, very subtle designs. Pretty, and this one's pretty with the star burst. <laughs> See, like I want, I want more of the holographic. Like I want more of the foil. That's what. That's where it's at, right? The foil's really cool looking. This, I do not know what that is. <laughs> Just a bunch of leaves. Okay, here's some more holographic snowflakes. Awesome. They look really cool. Shine is like, ugh, just really nice. I like that. And then to end it off, you have a <laughs> very plain backer. Um, so anyway, these are, you know, these are three books that I wanted to share with you. Glistening Snow, Christmas Plaids, and Snow Globe Vellum. 
they can still be purchased, I think, at a major craft store. I, I, I do not wish to, I'm not going to, like, promote any stores. I don't, um, you know, care to do that in this, in this video series. I do not, you know, have my favorite, a favorite store. Every store has its own benefits. Online stores have their own benefits. Every, I have some favorites, and you'll probably see this throughout this, throughout my videos that I go back to. You know, I constantly am, like, um, finding myself drawn to. Um, certain companies have, like, a certain look of their papers and their, like, stamps and their die cuts and all their paper crafting projects that they do. So I, I might tend to show more of that, show more certain things. But my main purpose for doing these videos is to, um, get people interested in paper crafting and help people figure out how to do it and how to do it in a, in a, a you know, easy, affordable way. Um, and share my tips that I've learned now that I've been doing this for almost 10 years. Um, so hopefully you will, um, enjoy the series of videos that I want to make and will share them with your friends and will subscribe and like and do all that stuff you need to do so that I can continue doing this. All right. This was great sharing, um, sharing this with you and please come back for my next video.